Well, if you're out on the water and your hook catches a fish, congratulations. But if your hook catches you, Rain and Mandy are here to help you out with a little bit of first aid. So tonight we're going to talk about something that's pretty serious for fishing people. And if you've ever been to any area hospitals with mannequins and you've seen the fish hooks in people, you will realize all the places they get hooked. It's unbelievable. There's not a square inch of the human body that I don't think any of these hospitals have not seen. So we're going to talk a little bit tonight, tonight about how to remove a hook. And I want to be sure that you understand that I'm only saying hooks that are easy to get to, not hooks around the eyeballs, around the nose, hooks that are very, very difficult to get to. There you need to have a professional do it. But if you have a single hook in your arm, in your, in your, in your wrist, in your hand, um, most of the doctors are going to do what I'm going to show you. And if that doesn't work, then they might numb it and then and they might cut it out. But I want you to imagine that this hook is in a person's skin right here. And they're usually down a little bit deeper. I'm going to put it down just a little bit deeper. But here's the basic technique. You need string and you need a fairly powerful piece of string. You don't want that to break. And you're going to put it right above the hook itself. Then you're going to hold down on the, the back part of the hook. It's important to push down and then you're going to pull up. And I usually tell people I'm going to count to three and then I'm going to pull it and I usually pull it on two so they're not so scared. So I go one, two. And that hook usually comes out exactly where it went in. And if you can notice, it really hasn't torn the, the cardboard. And usually if you do this right, it also will not tear the skin. If you're going to be in the boat fishing, make sure that you have a big pair of sharp side cutters. If you actually get that hook and it penetrates completely through that skin, you're going to want to take that side cutters and cut that barb off of the hook and pull it back through to remove it. For Lakeland News, I'm Ray Gildot with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bassin Biologist. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.